I am live. I am live. Yay, I'm live. Sorry, guys, I had some issues. It just was buffering here, so I had to restart my YouTube. So, can everybody hear me? Okay, and see me okay? So, wow, full house here. Um, let me start from the beginning. <laughs> okay, hi, Jeremy. <laughs> James, Johan, Anna, Bottle Caps, Delaney, Schwester, Madruna of Algis, hello, Pixel Pia. So, very awesome. Thank you for being here. IOX, Johan. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry. I know it was supposed to stream on Tuesday, but um, an emergency came up for my friend. And uh, I'm buffering? No. Not me. Oh, no. Um what was I saying? Yeah, but my friend, she had an emergency, so I had to go and watch her dogs and cats. And then I wanted to stream from the house, but um, even though I have over 1K, I um, <clears throat> couldn't stream. I'm not allowed to stream from my phone. And they don't have a webcam. I was allowed to use a, a computer, but they don't have a webcam. So, And um, yeah, so today I came back. <laughs> what, James? <laughs> what is he doing, that little dog? So, um, I'm just checking if my stream is clear on my on my phone here. But it seems so. I think. Right? Okay, I am. Okay. I'm just... Checking. Alrighty. Um, yes. So um, last time I talked about the real energy and Odal and uh, Manas. So um, yeah, today I wanted to talk about the herb to go with it. That's how I um, planned of doing that for the future. And just again, talking about real, and I'm going to make that clear on my next real steam, uh, stream. <laughs> I can't talk. Is there help for that? Um, real does not mean Nazi. Okay. So um, just making that clear again. And I said the word on the tube. Yeah, I said so. But I just want to make that clear again because um, obviously it causes still confusion. So it has nothing to do. I'm talking about the energy, which is the, the chi or the tai or, or whatever you want to call it. And I call it vril and I call it on purpose vril. So people get that stupid idea out of the head. So there. What, you're freezing? Your chat keeps freezing. No IOX, not just woman. So, men should have the hair long, too. So. Hey. Oh, you didn't miss anything yet. <laughs> I just started and I'm babbling alone, along. Hey, general disrepair. Yeah, they did try to misuse the energy. That is totally correct. And that's why I keep talking about it, just to get that idea out of people had that that is something bad, you know what I mean? Because it has nothing to do with it. And it's still being misused, just under different names and different terms, and we know that. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to make that clear again. So, you know. So now we got this out of the way. Um, the best with Odal goes... Um, the chamomile, I find, my personal opinion about it. 
So, and, and you all know the chamomile, right? From when your tummy aches, when you have um, a cold, but mostly it's good for your tummy. I actually had chamomile tea last night because my tummy was aching. Yes, long hair is good. I have a video somewhere, somewhere down there in my playlist. <laughs> yes, you did, Anna. <laughs> yeah, long hair is actually uh, like your antennas, you know, to receive and send if you believe it or not. And And if you think about it, I mean, many women, not me, but many when they go through a change, they cut their hair off. If, if something happened in their life not good, they usually cut their hair off. And I'm thinking, but that's just my, my, my personal thought, okay? I'm not saying this is scientifically proven. I just think they do it to not only for change, but without knowing to cut off the pain, you know, to not feel that anymore. Hey, ultraviolet. So, um, yeah. Uh, that that that's what I think. That's just a th not what I think. It's just a thought of mine. So, yeah. But oh, I like penguins too. So um, let's get to the chamomile. We all know the chamomile, right? And um, so it actually grows pretty much everywhere in Europe, America. West Asia, Australia, um, and they grow up pretty high. Like now, I have to talk to uh, meters. Well, up to half a meter. I don't know what that's an in inches. Pew. Hey, what did you say, Ultra? I went through cutting my hair off once when my life was bad. You're so right. I've noticed that in others, two hairs magic. Yeah, right? It was just a thought. What, Anna? Ransom hacked my... <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like, who talked about penguins? <laughs> Ransom, you retard. Pyramid. Hello. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, that's just a thought, right? with the hair it just makes sense because those are your antennas and yeah so just a thought of mine <laughs> yeah it's really bizarre so um chamomile so like i said we all know cam chamomile and it's used as a medical plant right and it was Back with the with the Germans, with the Anglo-Saxons, you know, it was one of the nine sacred plants. And um, even, and for that purpose, they even smudged it and burned it on summer solstice. And uh, so in order to avert future disease and mischief. And for, for the, the Germanic people, it was considered a symbol for the sun god. Balder. I mean, if you look at it, right, it, it's nice. It looks like a little sun, like like daisies. So, um, yeah, general disrepair, you grow a sweater. <laughs> Don't you do that every winter? <laughs> so, and when you smudge chamomile, um, I find, personal, it's very bad balancing and harmonizing and it has a very good cleansing effect on the body and the mind and it got a little Swedish fragrance I would say when you burn it when you smudge it and you can smudge it either by itself or along with other incense or resins so um but I'm giving a few examples later and I'm trying to read the chat as well <laughs> so and what does the spirit of the plant um, can do for us? So, I mean, maybe some of us remember, you know, grandma's chamomile tea. So it's like, which gives you that warm comfort feeling, you know, and th that actually was, it, it's not, it's not only, grandma's house the warm kitchen that smells like cookies and chamomile tea maybe 
but it's the flower itself. It brings you warmth and security and, and it has a very protective and grounding and calming effect. So, and chamomile can also release blockages and open um, the solar plexus. And I think that's why it helps so much when we have tummy ache or tummy issues, you know, to when we drink it, because I mean, that's where everything happens. I had tummy issues yesterday, but I think I stressed out because I had to drive through black ice for a long time and it was really getting on my nerves. <coughs> so what else um yeah like i said it provides calm and balance all right hi brandy um so you can say when there's a thunderstorm it will relax the atmosphere you know and i i don't necessarily mean only a thunderstorm i mean the sun the thunderstorm that we experience in our emotions sometimes and um and kind of ditch discharges the storm in us it makes it more bearable you know it's like how can i yeah when when anger and grief you know darken the mind that's when the chamomile the queen comes in and um yeah and also it's very nice for for blessing ceremonies you know it's very nice um it's cooling, balancing, um, it promotes the harmony and the tolerance that we all need. It soothes the mind and reduce, reduces the desire to fight, you know, because some fight, fights, they're not worth it. You're just better off to turn around and just go and say, screw it, right? I mean, like, I, I've learned a lot. I, I don't argue anymore. Like, I just turn around if I know something is just not worth it i just turn around and i leave so i don't argue because i mean everybody has a right to their own opinion and if i disagree to a point where i think it's affecting me or it's not good for me i, I just turn around and leave it's not up you know what i mean so and yeah i do argue with you <laughs> i'm supposed to do that you're my man, I'm your woman, so I'm supposed to stress you out and argue. <laughs> so, but you can uh, smudge some chamomile later. And it gives you a feeling of, um, yeah, the calm and the security, you know, and also it purifies your aura, really. It, it's really nice. When you're in all that stress and anger, it really calms you down a lot. <laughs> yeah um brandy you're driving would you stop chatting don't just listen don't know chatting don't do that <laughs> okay let me get a little bit into the details here um let me see if i miss for oversaw something some people stressful situation is other people's but too bad i couldn't give drive you you would have still been stressed but at least you wouldn't have been driving <laughs> and yeah my grandma put some chamomile tea bags on my eyes when i was little because i had conjunctives on both of my what eyes as a child and they were both shut it helped but it does it really does it helps you know like especially when you have allergies um, okay, if you have allergies, you want to be careful, but it helps, you know, when your eyes are all sticky, like it really helps and, and it takes the swelling down too. <laughs> you see, Anna, I knew what you were writing. I knew it because I do the same. <laughs> yeah. So where was I? Um, I'm just trying to see if I, uh, over see some questions or so. So, like I said, and, and when you look at it, um, it is a sun herb, right? Like I said, it looks like the sun, and um, it was dedicated to Baldur the sun god, 
and um, so shut up Jeremy and <laughs> um, and when you see it growing like it, it grows rather in barren places and I like to see this as a parallel to the plant that that it can give to us because you know i mean it grows where there's nothing and still it comes out big and beautiful so with this message i find it gives us strength and and hold in uncertain times right that everything will be good so um so if you see yourself at a barren place where you think how can i evolve how can i develop how can i do this and this how can i reach my goal um so maybe the the chamomile can give you some answers because like i said she grows in barren places with nothing and she makes it out of there right and um yeah as i said smudging the chamomile so the spirit will, of this plant will give us will, will give our soul peace and balance so and i find it's very um, important in today's hectic world right hi randy hey my rocking friend <laughs> good to see you it's really good to see you all <laughs> i'm really happy about that and, and I want to apologize that I couldn't make it Tuesday as I promised and announced. So, oh, you did ultraviolet? Awesome. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you need to drink a gallon. <laughs> so, what was I? Hectic days, right? So, so therefore, like I said, it will strengthen you with grief, with anger, the negative thoughts, and 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 sometimes we just can't get out of our own mind on our own accords, right? So we need a little help, a little push. Yep, life happens. I'm with you. So and when you smudge the chamomile, it promotes our to tolerance and also interpersonal harmony, which um, I'm the one to speak, right? <laughs> so it soothes our mind. It reduces disputes and gives us really the feeling of security. I really love the smell of it. I really do. Is it the tea? Is it in an oil um, or smudging it? It's really nice. So what it also does for you, since it's uh, cleansing the aura, it will close old wounds on our soul, right? But in a purposeful and in a purposeful manner. So not that it will just close it and it will never get out. It it allows you to complete whatever matter or subject you have going on and that you have been dealing with for a long time. It will wait for it, you know, it will help you to push it out and um and interferes with the progress a bit so um and then it will you know close that old wound because it's a sun herb right so and that's what i like to do too on my when i do energy work on people i i mostly use sun energy right to close wounds or light i mean that's just what you do and that's what we do when we have an ouchie a boo boo a wound what what do we do we make sure the sun comes on it right air and sun so um <coughs> yes lavender and chamomile nice very nice i love lavender too actually i say that about every herb i actually love all the herbs <laughs> oh yeah that's that's a good sign for that general disrepair but it's so important to work on that, especially, I mean, how can you help and love other others if you have constantly issues? I mean, deep issues, right? I mean, I have my moments too where, where I like, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Is it really worth it? But but I, I, I know for myself now, this is just some old stuff, still not 
having dealt with or totally released, but I'm letting it happening because I know it's a process, right? I mean, you cannot just wake up, oh, this, I had this issue 10 years ago, now I remember it, gone. Yeah, I so wish this is not happening. So it really takes time, and this is why you have to be really patient with yourself. Give yourself a lot of credit. If you must stand in front of the mirror and just tell, tell yourself, you know what, you're really cool, and you do a great job. So you, you really have to remember that because we we'll, we we'll, we all been through hell and back, right? Yeah, we can never see the truth in others until we can see the truth in ourselves, selves, even if the truth can be a little bit scary. It's true. That That's what I mean. Like, how can you help or love if you're if you have no empathy for yourself at all. Wounds that reapen when you think they're healed are the worst. Yes, ultraviolet. Yep. Tell me about it. <laughs> and um, they mostly come up when you experience, like, the most beautiful things in your life because you, you get triggered by things, right? And you're just scared of this happening again. And... But I... I can speak out of experience, just bring it on, like, let it really go, don't try to push it back, let it all out, <laughs> if you have to cry and scream or whatever, but don't, don't push it back. So, um, what was I, the old wounds, yeah, the feeling, yeah, Violet, the feeling pulls the memory out. It's true. It, it's totally, when you talk about it, it, makes no sense. But if you think about it, then it does make sense, right? And um, and that's why, I mean, let's take the example relationships, you know? That's why a good relationship will make you bring out the worst in you to bring out the best in you, if I make any sense. So, um, yeah, just give your time to heal. So, hey, Matilda. <laughs> hey, Delaney. <laughs> what, are you commiserating about me coming to Oklahoma here? I've been missing that. <laughs> Yeah, it will come as soon as I have my passport, people. I'm waiting for my passport to get back with a visa that got approved, so I don't know when that will happen. <laughs> but it will happen. So, <coughs> <coughs> so, yeah. So let's take a mix, for example. If you want to close old wounds, you know, um, take the chamomile, um, mix it with pine resin because that is healing for, uh, for issues, you know, for depressions, for issues, for wounds, um, rose petals, as, as I talked before about the rose, you know, the rose, the aroma puts us in this little womb, makes us feel like, hmm, you know. Sometimes I just need like a bathtub full of rose petals. <laughs> so, and the best thing to do is to dry them first. I mean, don't, you can't smudge wet rose petals, obviously. So, and um, yeah, you will see. I mean, you can dry them on the window ceiling. But I personally don't like to expose them to too much light because then they use they, they lose color. So I like to do it in a in a darker room, maybe on newspaper or something. That's how I do it. Then the light doesn't get to it. What? I'm <laughs> I'm taking a road trip. <laughs> Jeremy, are you reading this? <laughs> Yep, I'm coming. 
So, oh, I gotta tell you that before I move on. That was so funny. I had to go to Calgary. I'm in Edmonton. I had to go to Calgary to the embassy for a personal interview. And um, God, I was so nervous, right? So, but they were all so nice. They were so nice. I really have to say that. That they really took like all, like I wasn't nervous anymore once I was in there. And of course, I asked for my, they wanted to know where I met Jeremy, right? Because I said, I'm going to see, go see my boyfriend. And so, and then I told them, of course, on YouTube. <laughs> and of course, I had to check out the channel. God, I'm like, I was dying. I'm like, oh my God. But it was fun. I asked them to sub and like, but they weren't allowed to. <laughs> But it was funny. They were really funny. So, yeah. Okay, let's go back to <laughs> the camel mill. Um, so, once you have them dried and, and you can make your little mixtures, right? Like pine tree resin you can find everywhere. And you can either clean it by cooking it out not cooking it out, but in hot water, but I, I just leave it, leave it as it is. I just take it off the tree, I dry it, and that's how I use it. I, I don't care for a little dirt in there, right? But I know some do it that do it to clean it. That's mostly the one, one that gets, gets sold, right? But I'm not doing, like, really business with it, so. Um. Yeah, so, and once you smudge with a with a chamomile or with your special incense mix um, and you do a little ceremony, you, you, you really have to think deeply about whatever is, yeah, bugging you, right? What, what, whatever it is. And, and then gradually close your mental wounds. So, um, and I would make that smudging ceremony very intimate and personal and preferably when you're by yourself, I, I would do that. So you can really go deep unless you do, you have your energy worker that do it together with you. That's fine too. But um, if you know how to do it, then just, you know, do it by yourself. My, my recommendation for that. So, yeah, what I'm saying with it, it's actually then with loneliness, I mean, it's only you and the the spirit of that plant, the, the plant diva or how, how you want to call it. But I just call it the spirit of the plant. So, um, and yeah, and always remember there is a light at the end of the tunnel, right? That you walk through just keep that always in mind no matter how long the tunnel is it will end so let me read the chat roses what iowax is buying roses <laughs> never what so far Anya has no say oh um uh, is everybody working out the road trip here for me without me i'm seeing <laughs> Me write a book? Oh hell no! Oh you Oh now you said it because no, Johan will get on my case now and saying I have to write a book. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I was so happy she forgot about. Hi, <laughs> hey bottle caps! I saw you before. Where's Jack? Is Jack with you? Is Jack listening as well? I hope so. He got like the cutest bird ever. So, okay, um, what else can I say about the chamomile? Um, what? <laughs> Jack is shitting on the kitchen table. <laughs> <coughs> you gotta look that bird up on this channel, it's so cute. Really? Yeah, and if you want to, please check each other out, you know, 
I don't mind that. Like, oh, Anna, my shirt reminds me of chamomile. Well, guess what? <laughs> That's why I wore it. I thought, oh, I need yellow today. <laughs> um, hi, Pamela. I didn't know you were here. I hope I didn't miss to say hello. Sorry about it. If you said hello before, I'm sorry, Pamela. I, I didn't see you then. Um, so what else about chamomile? Um, it can be used with, with other resins to dissolve a curse. So um, even though I don't like to talk too much about curses because people freak too much out about curses. So if, if you have a bad situation repeating itself, it's never that some don't want to think about, hey, what am I doing wrong? Am I doing something wrong that this is happening to me again and again? Or what can I change? No, it's always, oh, I'm cursed. So uh, uh, no, like putting a curse on someone is not that easy, you know? What is easy is sending out negative energies. Like that's why I say be careful with your words, be careful with your thoughts, because like, especially when you're angry, you know, like I have to watch it too sometimes when I'm really angry. Like this guy the other day, he was shoving my car with his already. I couldn't move because of the black eye. My my the back of my van was spinning and he was honking at me. And I was about to smash his teeth, and then I was thinking, I hope you shit yourself today in traffic. So this is an example. I hope he didn't do that, but it, it's just a stupid example. But I'm just saying, like, be careful, because whoever can receive it, you know, in, in, in form of a headache, of a tummy ache, whatever, you know what, what you know where I'm going with that? Um Hey, Max. Max, I just said, sorry, I had a tummy ache yesterday. I went to bed early. I didn't watch your show. I didn't come to class. I skipped class. So, yeah, like I said, be careful with your thoughts, really. And, and I have to do that, too. I'm not just saying, oh, I'm the holy Anya here. Um, I'm, I'm, everything I talk about, I'm in, totally in, right? Because that's what I do. I talk mostly talk about experience or if I feel the energy around some rune happening a little more frequent. So, um, yeah. So, and um, so it can help you clear that energy out too. If you carry those feelings around, right? Um, the, the spirit of the plant will show you the path for the solution. So, of course, you can take a bath, right, as well with it before you st start the incense. I like to do that with some oils. Like, let's say, if I burn rosemary for certain protection rituals, whatever, I like to take a bath in them too. In those oils, I like to do that. But again, I'm um, talking about rosemary. Don't take a bath in rosemary oil before you go to bed because you will be up all night. It's very, um, yeah, it brings your senses back. Yet if you put, if you smudge it, uh, it will calm you down. Or if you put a little rosemary branch next to your bed, it will calm you down and keep nightmares away. It's just the oil. If it hits the skin, if it gets into, into your metabolism, it will keep you up all night. So just, I wanted to throw that in. Yeah, right, general despair, repair. That's what I mean. Be careful what you wish for and for others, you know, um, because we're, we're not aware sometimes. I mean, of course, I'm not saying that every time you're having a bad thought or flip the finger at someone that something bad will happen. I'm just really talking about those deep when you're really really angry like calm down first that's the best thing to do like i don't know take a bite ring or something go jogging you know <laughs> calm down first so 
Yeah. Um, like I said, with roses, lavender, um, or sage. You can use sage as well for an illuminating incense if you add some um, pine tree, you know, it helps with your old wounds. Um, <coughs> if you want it for an evening a ritual or a little ceremony, um, I like it with Google and Sandarak. I have not talked about them so that I can maybe talk about uh, Google and Zanderak. So what 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 chamomile is? She's the awareness, the sun, right? And so she is the awareness, the sun of Mother Earth, you can say. And it's very harmonizing, and it has protective power, like mostly all of the plants do for certain things, right? And um, and with all I just mentioned, you see for yourself now that this plan has all the aspects that go with Odal to inherit yourself again, you know, to be yourself again, right? And um, for, for Manas, the rune Manas, I would recommend Sage. So um, I mentioned Manas too. So, but uh, I, I really don't want to get into Sage because I, I talked like 500 times about sage and i don't want to bore anyone <laughs> and and we all know it's protective it cleans us out negative energy and it's also good for disinfecting the room right if you've been sick very good so um yeah this is um pretty much it about the chamomile so um I hope you liked it and you can do something with it. Um, I'm not promising Tuesday, this coming Tuesday the the real and the rune. Um, I'm very honest. I was so busy this week with work and, like I said, with the emergency and other stuff. I even had to postpone a rune reading um, with a dear friend and... Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm a bit behind, but I catch up. I, I promise that I always do. And that's why I did it today because I felt so bad. I posted it and, um, you know, and everybody was like, yay. One even said, I'm going to set my alarm. And I felt so bad when I found out that I couldn't stream on my phone. I don't know. Maybe I have to sign in somewhere and do something because I am over a thousand subs. So I should be able to stream on my phone. So maybe I'm just skimping it up. So, um, yeah. And I still have to think about what kind of rune I want to talk next about. So if I come up with something on the weekend, I want to do something for myself too, a little smudging, then... Um, I will be back Tuesday, if not the week after. So have a little patience with me. I, I have to catch up. <clears throat> but then again, I just remember Monday is a holiday here. So I might have more time then. Yay. Okay, you guys. Well, thank you so very, very much, all of you, for being here and listening. And um uh, thank you, Matilda. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you all very much. I really appreciate you being here and coming here and chatting with each other. It's really nice. It makes me happy. <laughs> what, you know, keep it between the ditches and if someone gets too cookie, just throw it in reverse. <laughs> yeah, not with my car. I'm glad my car lives and drives. <laughs> Okay, everyone, I'm going to sign off now. And thank you again. Really, really appreciate everybody of you, every one of you, even though I don't speak English <laughs> at times, but you get my point. Um, no, it really means a, a lot to me. So, and that keeps me going to do what I'm doing, right? So, um, and I appreciate your interests. And I really do. And, oh, Max, Max. I took my first dose. I have to take my other dose tonight. I just remember <laughs> because I wasn't home for two days. I didn't have it with me. 
and I will let you know. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got uh, colloidal silver and gold from X, not drugs, just in case you're wondering, what, what is she testing out? <laughs> so, okay, I'm saying good night again. As you know, that is mandatory to say that for 10 minutes, right? <laughs> Since I have started this channel. <laughs> Okay, you guys, um, have a good night, a good morning, and a good day wherever you are right now. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me here, and um, I love you all, and I see you soon. Bye.